Welcome to the AIM extensions tutorial for the plug-in responsive iframes. After installing the extension, you can directly activate and configure it. Our manual could also be helpful for you. If you want to, you have the option to download it by clicking on this button. Before we activate the extension and start to configure it, let's have a look at a website this plugin is helpful for. Here you can see a map which is displayed using an iframe. It perfectly fits to this size of a window. But if I change the size to a smaller one a tablet might use, or even a smartphone, you can see that the map's iframe is not responsive. That complicates the use of this website for people who have a mobile device. So let's have a look at Amy responsive iframes to fix this problem. The first step is to activate the extension. Now you have to decide which action should be used as default. The options are keep aspect ratio, fit width only and ignore. In most cases, keep aspect ratio is needed just like in our example. If you choose fit width only, the height stays unchanged and only the width is scaled down until it fits. Therefore, the ratio of width and height changes. If you choose ignore, the extension ignores every iframe on your website if you don't make any further configurations down here. Now, for our example, we choose keep aspect ratio, leave out the other options and save the configuration. After reload, you can see that the extension works and the iframe now fits into every size of a browser. Going to the back end again, you see some more options I mentioned before. If you choose fit width only or ignore as default action, a box is shown which says but keep aspect ratio 4. This box allows you to make a list of source URLs of iframes which should keep their aspect ratio even if the default action is different. Meanwhile, you can only see the box but fit with only 4 if ignore or keep aspect ratio are set as default action and the box but ignore only appears if keep aspect ratio or fit with only are set as default option. Summing up, these boxes allow you to set different options for specific iframes even if they differ from the default action. Thank you for your attention and have fun using Amy Responsive iFrames.